What's up, y'all? We are back with the second video talking about that 2019 MT-07. This video was supposed to come out a couple of weeks ago, but I bought the new Hero 9, and the Hero 9 is amazing. Everything about it's great. I put it on my helmet. I go out. I shoot a whole day's worth of footage on it, everything talking, do, waving my hands in front of the camera, all the, all that stuff, and uh, get back to the house, put it on the computer, no audio, no audio at all. I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? It turns out that, I don't know if it's software or what the deal is, but there's no, you can't run the... Uh, the audio input thing that you can run on the Hero 8 on the 9 yet. I don't know if they're going to come out with another little media thing or something, but as of right now, you can't do the same setup as you can on the 8, the 7, the 6, the 5, the whatever. You, it's, It doesn't work. You plug it all in and there's just no audio at all. So it sounds like you're filming without a mic. And that doesn't help me on a motorcycle with all the wind noise and all the everything noise. So, I'm not into that. But, the one thing that is great about it is everything else. With the exception of the audio, the video is great. You know, all the, uh, all the new features, the forward facing screen, all that stuff is great. The Hero 9, amazing. The GoPro Hero 9. But, the problem, no audio right now. So, we're back to using the Hero 8. Because the Hero 8, audio sounds great, to me at least. And uh, that's, what, that's what we're doing today. We are finally getting to it. It feels like finally for me because I went out and shot the whole thing and then got pissed off because I didn't have any audio. But we're finally getting back into this bike. The 2019 Yamaha MT-07. My favorite bike for screwing around, wheelies, the sound, everything. This bike is this bike is A1 in my book. This bike is, uh, it's a fun bike. You don't feel like it's too overpowered. You don't feel like anything at all. Like you can't go out and have a good time and all like that. But it'll also do 80, 90, whatever on the freeway. So you also feel like if you're going and riding with your friends with the bigger bikes, you can keep up. So that's just a, uh, and it's got a really short wheelbase, so I feel like wheelies are easier on it and stuff too. I got very terrible shitty wheelies, but I can still pop it up and, and that's fun enough for me. Enough to get a photo, right? If you didn't get a photo of it, it didn't happen or film it. But uh, yeah, of course I do have a handful of things done to it, like every other bike I have. I think the only bike that I'll keep pretty stock, maybe change one or two things on it, like the mirrors or whatever is the Vespa. The Vespa is the only one that's not gonna get messed with. I like that bike because it's quiet and it's just a cool little cruiser. I don't, I'm not gonna put an exhaust on it and all that stuff, but some of the modifications that are on this bike is uh, I have the uh, Righteous Stunt Clutch, the lever, the shorty lever, it's like a two finger lever, this guy. Just so that, I don't know it's it's got a bearing in there so it's like a hydraulic or whatever so it like it's super easy to pull in like little one finger pulls and it's like a they say it's stunt lever so you can I don't know it's got a lifetime guarantee which is nice lifetime guarantee is always nice if you drop your bike or whatever and you bend the lever they'll replace it for free that's that's a pretty awesome thing but um, let's see what else I got the, uh, the cheap eBay lever on the other side, just something to kind of match that because I don't want to have this rad little short lever and then some crazy stock, insanely long lever on the other side, just a little adjustable eBay lever. That was silver, so it kind of looks like it matches. And uh, changed all the headlights out to new nice hyper white lights so that everything matches especially after i got rid of the blinkers and i got these super rad ones down there when i put those on the tst industries i also have the fender eliminator from tst industries but once i did the uh all the headlights and stuff then i noticed 
the stock blinkers stuck out like out to here and on top of that they were like this ugly orange light these are like a nice hyper white light and they're real sharp the whole bike has like a really angular look so it just makes it look nice it's all tucked in all clean and then like i mentioned i have the tst industries fender eliminator kit it just cleans up the whole back end nice tidy package whatever they call it tail tidy that's the reason and the exhaust of course the exhaust you got to do the exhaust on these bikes this bike has the two brothers pipe and god it's such a good when you put a pipe on an fz mt07 this bike has such a sound like nothing else but yeah the whole like i call this bike the poor man's ducati because i feel like it has that grumble that a ducati has like uh that sport classic 1000 from ducati sound but i've had this is the third one that i bought and for that reason alone that'll tell you i bought one ran it for a while and i was like god's bike's amazing and then i i got i felt like i outgrew it got a harley missed the fz got another fz did that whole process again and then got it now i have a harley and an fz so whenever i get tired of riding this and i just want to chill I got the Harley I can hop on, which is nice. We are now in downtown Riverside. There's this cool little art piece that some guy just did. And I want to go try and find it really quick. It's one of those like, welcome to Riverside signs. And uh, I want to see that shit. And inside each one of the letters is like a different part of Riverside. They're pretty tight, like those greeting card things. So I want to go, go see if we can find that real quick. I know it's over here somewhere. I have a pretty good idea of where it is, so I'm not just going to be driving around, but whatever if I do. Let's see. Where, oh where. Let's see if we can get a... Uh, shit wheelie. Where are you? Oh, I see it. Yeah, baby. We found it. There she is. Now, of course, it's on the side of the smoke shop. Look at that. Yeah, that piece is awesome. I do like that. Pretty cool, it's got Mount Rubido, UCR, the Mission Bridge, that's some building in downtown, a light pole, the Fox Theater, it's got it all man. The um, the train, the Metrolink or whatever, and then that's some Asian sculpture that's in front of the, uh, the library. This is tight. Yeah, that's super cool. I'm into that. Greetings from Riverside. That'll work. That's all I wanted to see. Let's uh let's do a little ASMR or whatever it's called type shit so you can just listen to the sound of the bike and hear why I like it as much as I do. Hop on the freeway real quick.
sounds awesome. I love this sound. I'm only this 70, but I think back there I was going like 80, but this bike sounds amazing, man. It's just got so much room. And after the tune, this bike is great. Shitty wheelie. I'll take it. That's what I'm talking about, man. This thing just pulls up. You give it a good rip, and she's right up. Obviously, not that one, but you get what I mean. There we go. That one wasn't terrible. Little fuck yeah god man it, the sound of this bike is definitely my favorite thing without a doubt 100% the sound it's amazing let's um let's go find a spot that uh, I can get some b-roll of this bike and uh, show you guys some of the modifications that I've done to it will know this feeling when you hop on your bike from like sitting I mean from like stand walking around and stuff like that and you first get on your bike it is such a pain in the ass like I feel like your pants are stuffed up in your ass or something I don't like that I don't know if anybody likes that but that shit is not cool that's just I don't know if that's just a motorcyclist thing I'm sure maybe if you're moving around in your car that might be a problem but that is not tight. So the FZMT07. Like I said, this one's 2019. It's awesome. The other two that I had were used. And when I got this one again, I wanted to just get a brand new one. And the 19s, they changed a little bit of stuff. Like this is a little bit more aggressive, like the body, the panels, the body panels. And so. It's got like a little sharper look to it, which I like. It looks pretty cool. But all that's gonna change here shortly. I, there's a, a company on Instagram called Hookie, and they make custom full body kits for certain motorcycles. And they happen to make a, uh, it looks crazy. The body kit looks like you built it in a junkyard or something, but like a nice junkyard, if that even makes sense. 
but it, cha it, cha it changed the entire look of this bike it makes it look like I don't know something out of a magazine or some motorcycle show or something but the company like I said is hooky and the kit is for an XSR 700 and the Yamaha XSR 700 is basically an FZ MT 07 just with different styling like it doesn't look like a street bike it looks more like a cafe bike and you can literally just bolt the kit on and have a completely custom bike and that's kind of what I'm hoping for I want like just a cool looking bike that's I don't got to put a gang of work into. I've had other bikes in the past where I had to like completely build every little piece like cut and weld and it's awesome doing that kind of stuff but every once in a while like if you can if it goes on as easy as an exhaust then why wouldn't you want to do that? The whole kit just bolts up super simple not like a a bunch of work I think I might have to cut a little bit off the back end because the FZ07 and the MT07s the tail section sticks up just a little bit more and on the uh, XSR 700s they have a tail loop in the back that with four bolts it literally just comes off so so that that kit is tailored to the XSR but I hit the company up and they said that it'll bolt right up to my bike I might just have to cut a couple of inches off the tail which I'm totally fine with I've cut the shit out of bikes before. I've taken $10,000 bikes and turned them into $3,000 hood ornaments, which sucked, but that's a part of motorcycles. You do that kind of shit, and then you realize, like, oh, okay, like, don't do that to your bike ever again. It's an expensive mistake, but if you like motorcycles, then it's part of it. But, uh, yeah, so when I put that kit on here, I'm going to do an entire build video. And that whole build video, you'll you'll see the entire transformation from an MT-07 to a completely custom bike. And I don't think it'll take that long because everything is so plug and play, but we'll see what happens when I get into it. And like I said, I'll take you guys along for the journey. We'll do like a full build out video from an XSR to, I mean from an MT-07 to that custom XSR looking thing. So it's going to be rad. This bike will definitely, it'll revamp my love. I love this bike, but then that's really going to bring my love back for this bike. There's something about having a completely custom bike. Like when people are like, what is that? You get psyched. And that's no different. Like I get pretty psyched when somebody's like, dang, what is that? So this bike will definitely be completely different here shortly. But go check out that body kit. It's on Hookie's Instagram. It's H-O-O-K-I-E. I'll put a little thing in the bottom or whatever but uh it's super sick body kit for this bike they make them for bmws they make them for all kinds of stuff but obviously when i saw the xsr i was like damn it's basically an mt07 so we'll see how that looks all right great bike if you're thinking about getting one get one if you have any other questions leave it in the comment section down below I'll answer all your questions. I got no problem doing that. And uh, like I said, if you want to follow my daily nonsense, at Zach Peacock on Instagram. That's where you'll find all the daily nonsense. And look at that. Peacock for president, baby. Yes. If you want to know what's up with that, go on my Instagram. We've been running a fake presidential campaign. <laughs> and it's pretty awesome but uh yeah that's pretty much it i just got to the tattoo shop about to do a little tattooing and uh see you guys in the next one